really excited. So let's see what's going to happen here. Are we going to have the infamous Cloud Dittos? Yes, yeah. we are. Serious. I mean, you did just play a super, like, close game five set with, like, Kane <laughs> going Cloud. Like, that would be pretty disrespectful. Like, oh, Leo? Just, uh, was, like, Roy, Roy or <laughs> Bowser or something. <laughs> but here we are going into the Cloud Ditto between these two. So many sets played. Uh, going in the last one, but I feel like Leo overall is just so amazing at this matchup. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy because all the clouds are so good. Even like Tweak is oh, really, yeah, definitely really good. Oh yeah, Tweak too. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to say who's best at the Ditto. They, I've seen them all do really well against each other. But right now, Leo has the advantage. Got yeah. him off stage to see if he can get this limit burn. Ooh, tries to use the neutral to get that snipe. Oh, I'm so glad Leo charged there. Because Cohen was like, okay, I'm just waiting for you not to... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, so... I thought he had the roll read on the platform, yeah. missed, and <laughs> I was like, alright, cool, I get the fun. I'm just gonna roll behind this. You cross slash yourself. <laughs> Definitely played himself. Oh man, yeah, and great punish right there from Leo. No jump? Oh, get, save this jump. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, can't take that. Completely free stock there. And we usually see the clouds go for either dash attack or, you know, something like Nair. To, uh, so at the very apex, and that's no double jump right there. It's going to be a limit yep. burn. Caught catching the double jump a bit. The jab from the ledge. Here you get stuff up from Leo. At the very apex of Cloud's up B, you can't tech in the stage. So, of course, being top level players, are going to both know this and abuse this. Yeah, very volatile matchup. Oh, I'm loving the perfect pivot movement from both of these players. Very, Ooh, very early up B. He's like, all right, I can't let him get this free near. It's like, I'm winning so much. If I just mess up once, it's over. So a really smart recovery overall from uh, Leo. Ooh, double back. Yeah, he has some. That was his right jump. Here. Okay, playing it patient. Almost limit on deck for Como. All right. Ooh, just a slice stall, but actually doesn't get it. Ooh, oh. what a punish from Como. Uh, Como like did the. He did the. Like why? <laughs> he put his hands up like, what, what were you thinking, man? You know, yeah, it doesn't count like what that percent do. Yeah, I, I feel like he hit Leo hesitated just a tad bit on that up B and, you know, amazing space from Chromo standing right outside of the range yeah. of the up B and, you know, getting the finishing touch yeah. out of all things. That's, that's actually, you know, most optimal punish. So that was oh, like yeah. the most guaranteed kill he could All right, courtesy charge though? Yeah, they do this. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, they don't. <laughs> okay, no, something I, I know about Leo is uh, he likes to almost charge it so you can still do cross slash in neutral yeah it's yeah. a great anti-air 19 percent amazing stuff so i always uh, always like that from him oh okay force the limit from leo this is big i like that the position that leo used the up b though too to avoid even getting hit by the neutral air. i know como's kind of scoff that up b but down there gets called out by como's up there and now we continue in the juggle here oh catch this long sweeping area box Woo. Como in the driver's seat right now. Oh. Doesn't punish. I was thinking maybe a cross slash would have done it. Yeah, because he actually didn't cross the shield. Yeah. But still in a good spot. I'm not sure where Leo is at meter wise. Okay, oh. no, he's pretty close. But off stage now. Oh, he and that's had guaranteed. Hi. No matter, even if Leo tried to do the second slash, if you just shield that first one, you're going to get him up here. Oh! Well, okay. He didn't even air dodge. He just, just fouled his drift completely and down aired him. And uh, Komo Kiri, I guess he wasn't expecting it because there was just no DI towards the stage at all. Really yeah, good turnaround from Leo. Actually, definitely the worst case scenario. If you drop the first stock in the Cloud Doodle while they have limit, because they can just throw you off stage and kill you immediately. Yeah. Just melt through things. Yeah, Leo out here doing it raw, no air dodge required. Okay. Getting the damage on Komo. Oh, tech chase? That's. Cloud's Barely heavy. Early enough, yeah. And I believe uh, Limit helped him out as well. Uh, Leo even had stage one rage, but that back air is going to do it. Very, very strong move, especially right by the edge. Nice catch. A really good turnaround there for Leo. Did not let uh, Cohen work the stock, uh, stock lead at all. Yeah. Yeah, just really, really good stuff coming out there. Getting that cross slash, getting him off stage. And he didn't really extend too far off stage, which was really good. Kept the stage control, got the normal get up with the back air. And very solid stuff. Now we're at 1-1 one, one here. Okay. Kori Kiri running it back to FD. 
Oh. I feel like both of these guys are not only just because it's a drill, like they're both really strong on all the same stages. Like, with, oh yeah. It just kind of depends on who's playing more on point. But with nice early cross that. I think it's the sweet spot. Really, up really interesting recovery there. Yeah, another thing about Smash 4 too, or even like in this ditto, this, like in most volatile matchups or dittos, sometimes it's not like who's playing better, like maybe right out the gate, but it's like, all right, you got the rage, I'm at 80, like, are you gonna make this play when it matters and get the stock? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like those very pivotal moments. Oh, oh my beautiful. goodness. Was that true? I don't know if you got the frame cancel forwarder. If it was the frame cancel forwarder, then uh, yes. Oh my, but that was disgusting. Either or, that was a really <laughs> good tag for Leo and terrible DI from Curry. Down air. Oh, it doesn't get the spike. Interesting. Oh, if you got the spike, it was like actually over. Yeah, I actually thought uh, he was just going to blade beam since it would have just hit him. Yeah, usually uh, we see the clouds blade beam. Oh, is that? Yeah, it was the high of B. Uh, really easy to tag if um, they're not. If they go too high past the ledge, you can just slash them. It's so crazy because Cloud has so much stuff that like destroys himself. <laughs> I know. I I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna call this, but I, I definitely feel like Cloud can like edge guard himself better than most <laughs> like, other characters. Like better than everybody. <laughs> yeah, especially with Limit, you have a lot of options like that Blade Beam. Uh, the Limit Blade Beam very very strong because Cloud does not clip onto the ledge when he upbees. Yes. So. It, oh, another oh, tech chase on the roll. Is that gonna be it though? Yeah. That two percent counted, man. Last time he was at 120. Yeah. <laughs> he could have been more towards the edge of the stage as well. He was at, yeah, he was closer that time. Yeah. but 2% so. and that little bit closer, you know, just enough. And yeah, wow, another tech chase. Amazing play there. Dang. It's, it's, it's crazy, too, because I feel like it, tech roll away will get caught by, like, Blade Beam. Yep. And if he just, like, maybe has enough time, he can probably just, like, read that and maybe get, like, a tech chase, like, Facing touch two or just another tech chase cross up. This a lot of options can be covered. And, and Leo has like the reactions to just punish like that. Again we see Leo in a position where he loses game one of a set. And then just like just comes back, man. Like this this man adapts so fast and is so clean. The punish game is insane. Uh oh. SD, uh, wow. Oh yeah, buffering that down there there. Got put in a really weird spot at the ledge and uh Unfortunately, so at least I miss input dropping that stock. But I don't know, man. Like I, I see Leo drop early stocks in this matchup already, and he just like turns it around so quickly. So definitely got, not going to count him out right now. Of oh, course, yeah. Corner Creek takes those, like for sure. So yeah, for <laughs> he's sure. probably like, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to run away with this as much as possible. All right, Como still holding on to his limit. Already got 54 damage, but Leo answering back with his grab. Nice. No Spot him out there. Try to see if you can attack it. And wow, you just catch that neutral get up. Immediate cross slash. Great punish then. Reaction strides. Yeah. Reaction. This man's got it. It's not fair, man. He's like 16. <laughs> got those 16 year old <laughs> reactions, man. And he's got, he's very smart, obviously. Like, yeah. it's insane how like fast this, this guy adapts. It's just crazy. Just like that, I feel like this game's even. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely even. Especially now that Comer Creek gave up the ledge positioning. Cloud can pressure Cloud so well with these falling backers behind Cloud. Cloud doesn't have uh, the quickest option to cover behind him. Maybe like a jump neutral is his fastest option. Oh, uh -oh. he didn't get on stage with that neutral air, and now oh, that he, tech situation. Yeah, he's in a rough spot. Yeah, Leo has the limit. Tomo trying to get it back. Okay, this neutral one will get him some limit. Back here, not far enough. Yeah, Another not grab. Back there on shield either. Okay. This is big though. Leo forces to burn the limit. Now he's halfway through. No edge guard. Just gonna try to get this limit here. Ooh, Ooh. doesn't punish the down air. Yeah, but does get the jab punish. Okay, again, no cross up up air and no punish coming out for Kumar Curry, but he's trying to play as safe as possible. That was actually almost too close, but that was scary up there. Oh, no, no. Come on. Oh, wow. He actually he burns it early safe. and oh, dashes in. Oh. What? Two mistakes. Clover at Kiri leads to dropping that one. Yeah, and that, especially that forward air, I'm pretty sure he wanted to go on stage with that, had to burn his limit, put himself on the ledge, and we talked about this kid's reaction, man. Leo, insane reaction speed, gets the normal getup with the back air, once yeah. again, closing it out. 3-1? Three, 3-1 three, yeah. against Como.